Hello, everybody. How are you guys doing? I figured I would do a little unboxing with you guys, which I've been up to today. It is so hot here, you guys. With the heat index, I think it's something like 118 or something like that. It's terrible. They had set up cooling centers and everything. Is it hot by you guys, too? Okay, so let me know in the comments how y'all are doing and what's going on. And I'm Let's just dive in. Let me show you some stuff, what we got, okay? All right, so we have, I got in some, I picked up on some compacts. Some pretty compacts. Isn't that pretty? It's an older one. It's, the mirror's intact. It's already cleaned out. Very cute good shape got this one it looks like it's hand painted it's got some blue flowers on it really pretty and it is Dorset Fifth Avenue Dorset and it's cleaned out as well and the mirrors intact very pretty we got that one okay we got this big one here. Look at this one. Okay, so it looks like it's missing its mirror. Not a big deal. Okay, and then we have this side where the lipstick goes. And let's see if I can open this where the little powder goes there. Then on the other side, this is pretty cool. The other side of the lipstick there. And then a little partition here. Super cool. I like this. It's got some weight to it. Sturdy little piece. So we got that. We got, we picked up on some brass figures. A really cute dog. And another dog, two dogs, one smaller than the other. This is like a, um, a small breed dog and a larger breed dog. Super cute. So we got those. All right. Let's dig into some jewelry. I picked up on this wooden jewelry box and it's full of jewelry. So we're going to look through some of that. Okay, so let's pull some out of here and see what we have. We'll go a little bit at a time. And if you guys could give me a thumbs up and uh, maybe a little comment after the video, that helps out so much. I really appreciate you guys taking the time out to watch my videos and hang out with me okay so we have a necklace red and black and this one is marked trifari i believe yeah that looks like trifari so we have a trifari necklace that's pretty i like those colors together red and black we have a glass cameo very pretty and this one's like 3D, raised. Very pretty one. Okay. We have, this one is very pretty. Little floral cameo type pendant necklace. And has a spring ring clasp on that one. So we got that. Oh, this one's a hair clip. I thought that was a brooch at first. That's really pretty. And then, oh, that feels like porcelain. That's really nicely made. Really pretty. I believe that's a transfer. And that one can also be worn as a pendant. So a pendant or a brooch. Very pretty. Oh, look, uh, some eyeglass art. That is really old and pretty. Made with eyeglass. Eyeglasses. 
We have a really pretty mother of pearl shell ring. Let's see if I can. Yep, it fits. Looks like about a size seven, six and three quarters. Oh, that's cute. Little wooden brooch with the hummingbird on it. Super cute. And this is a mother of pearl bracelet. That's an older one. Super cute. Little spring ring clasp. That matches the little ring. How cute. It's got little carved mother of pearl fishies on it, too. You have your round beads and then your fishy beads. Super cute. That's a small size. I have a small wrist, so that fits me. Small one. Okay. I accidentally paused the video. Hopefully it didn't cut out what I was saying. I was just saying how cute these were, the mother of pearl. And I was going to clear off some space here. Okay. So sensitive, computer. Don't be so sensitive. Okay. Grab a few more things out of here. Oh, this is nice. Cold and heavy. So either onyx or glass. Based on the weight, I'd, I'd get, I'm leaning towards onyx. But I'll test that with the Presidium and see. Hand knotted. Oh, look, uh, it looks like a Monet clasp. I want to venture to say that this is either Monet or it's either saying it's gold filled. One of the two. It's really hard to see. I'll have to get the loop on that. Really hard to see. But a really pretty, heavy, nice piece. Beautiful. Okay. And then we have this necklace here. That is so different. I haven't seen one like this. Cute. It has the little blue beading stationed up here. And then it's got one there above the pendant and then the little danglies on the bottom. Spring ring clasp on that one. Super cute. Okay. Grab out a few more items here. Looks like I noticed leaf jewelry must have been really popular. What you guys think in like the 50s, 60s era? There's all types of leaf type jewelry. Very pretty. And this one, another one I cannot see with the bare eyes. Kind of looks like a Monet clasp or it could be that it's gold filled. Really hard to see. But really pretty. Nice chain, too. Box chain. Okay. And then we have a older cameo here. And it is marked. What does it say? P-E-R. And a copyright symbol. Also a brooch. A little chain with a spring ring clasp that is cute and then we have a brooch that is marked oh my goodness I cannot see that let's see Dewberry Dewberry F-A with the copyright symbol another leafy type jewelry really cool okay alright Looks like we have some pearls, and they are cold, so I'm going to venture to say that these are glass. They are hand-knotted with that really cool clasp. Nice pearls. Very pretty bracelet. Love the sparkly bracelets. That is pretty. And that one looks like it has a fold-over clasp. I don't see any markings on that one. But of course, I'll get the loop and check closer because it might have something there. 
It's really pretty. All right, let's make some more room. I got some more new uh, jewelry trays, organizing trays in today, so I'm just gonna set them over there into the new trays I got, and I'll organize them out. Grab a few more items here. Okay, so it looks like we have another bracelet. Very heavy and well made. I wish they still made jewelry the way they used to back in the day. It has a fold over clasp. Can't see any markings right at the moment. But nice bracelet, sturdy bracelet. Super cool. This is a pretty brooch. Nice long pin stem on the back here. That's the back of it right there. Very pretty. Layered. Okay, we have a little puffy heart. One of my faves. And that one I'd venture to say, it looks like silver. I'll check that out. And then we have a stone pendant necklace with a slide-in clasp. See if there's markings. I don't think I see any markings. And I'm gonna test all of this. See, that's a uh, maybe a jasper or an agate stone there. Natural stone, really pretty. Okay. Grab a few more things. It's so fun digging into jewelry and seeing what treasures. Thank y'all for being here and looking at the treasures with me. And uh, as always, if you see something you like, you can always contact me and let me know, and I'll get you taken care of. Okay, so this one looks like a 1948-style brooch. Really pretty. Very elegant. And we have a mother of pearl leaf there. I don't see any markings, but very pretty. And then some clip-on earrings. Those are pretty. And I'd have to say these are bijoux. It's kind of worn away, but you can see at the end the ending of the, the X. It's one of the only names that end like that. So that would be my guess on those. Okay. Let's see what else. We have a few more things to get through. This little nice size box holds a good bit of jewelry. Okay. That's a cool piece. And I'm trying to see if there's a marking. Looks like I can't see one with the naked eye. Well made piece, sturdy piece, pretty green. And this one looks like a little hair clip that was in there. It is pink. It's like a, a pink mother of pearl style. Oh, another pretty bracelet. Nice lobster claw. I might have to test this one for gold. Let's see. Maybe gold filled or something. We'll check it out. If it's more, that would be good too, huh? But very pretty, nonetheless. Then we have some Sarah Coventry. There we go with the leaves again. Very cute, though, the leafy jewelry. And it is marked there, Sarah Cove and... Patent pending, so I'd say around the 50s era would be my guess. And a little cute pendant with the flowers and the cream color, enameling, old tone, spring ring clasp. And I'll check all of those out. Super cute. Okay. Grab a couple more things here.
Okay. Hope you guys are enjoying watching this and hanging out. Uh, I thought I saw a marking there. Caught my eye. Okay. We have some poodles, it looks like, sugar-coated. Three of them, and they are marked. I think these are Korean. Super cute. Those are older. Three poodles. And they're all marked. I think they're all marked the same, it looks like. Okay. And we have the flapper girl. How cute. Very pretty. And it is signed something 91 M. Mackerson or something along those lines. Very nice. And then we have a pendant with the leaf design with some pearls, maybe glass. I'll have to check and see. Okay. And another bracelet, a little tennis bracelet with a fold over clasp. That's cute. Simple and dainty and cute. And that feels like about a size seven, I'd say, on that one. Okay. We have a really cool sugar coated scarf clip and probably faux pearl. Really cute. And looks like that it is marked patent pending. Okay. Looks like what else we have in here? Some earrings. Grab those out real quick and look at those. Oh, that's a cute brooch with the leaf design. Mother of Pearl. Very cute. And these are kind of leafy as well. I think that there was a brooch that those kind of match with, it seemed like earlier, huh? Then we have some screw backs, really pretty. Rhinestone, blingy ones. And some faux pearl. And we're missing one. Here we go, here's the other earring. Okay. And then these are marked, looks like Trafari. Some Trafari, gold tone, pretty earrings. And these are ceramic, I'd venture to say. Really pretty. Oh, I like these velvety ones. Feels so soft, like a crushed velvet. And these are Coro. Very pretty. Coro. Okay, I have a necklace here. Let's get some of these off to the side. Alrighty. Okay, so this one, it looks like a double strand with the pretty slide-in clasp, hidden clasp. Gold tone. Nice necklace. Not too shabby. So far, I think we're doing okay with this jewelry box, huh? Another line bracelet, it looks like. Pretty. I, could, I like wearing stuff like this. It's just easy to throw on and simple. You could wear them with jeans or anything, you know? Okay, it looks like we're getting into some more brooches and some rings. And a pendant. Oh, that one's so cute. And that one looks painted. Flowers with the butterfly sitting on the flower. And that feels cold, so that's possibly porcelain. 
some roses and this one is DM copyright 97 we have a locket an old heart locket let's see it's got some patina so this is maybe silver gold over silver nice Oops, I'm trying to close it and the clasp the little bales in the way. That's why I wouldn't close. Okay, we have some rings with some stones here, it looks like. Adjustable. It's a pretty ring. And this one looks like it is marked Trafari. Needs a little cleaning. I haven't uh, cleaned any of this yet just open it up with you guys oh and look you can change out the stone if I can get it out there we go so you can change out the stone the little cabochon and it snaps in there really cool and that one is Trafari I'd say that's a seven mm-hmm and this one's adjustable okay and we have a few more things, and then we'll be done for this afternoon. And let me know if you guys had a favorite piece so far in the comment section. Oh, you know I like the hearts and the puffy hearts. So this is a cute little bow with a dangly puffy heart brooch. Okay. And few more things here some brooches and we have a ring this one looks like it is signed something what does it say sterling Thunderbird I believe that is with some turquoise and I venture to say that one's a size 7 really nice Southwestern, maybe a six and three quarters. Okay. We have a beautiful bird. Is that a hummingbird? Looks like it's got the long beak. Maybe a hummingbird. Really pretty. This one is marked LC, Liz Claiborne. And then we have some road runners, it looks like. One with a turquoise eye. Marked J. Ritter, copyright J. Ritter, and one with a red rhinestone eye. Really cool. And then we have a little scatter pin, a beautiful bird. Really pretty. Oh, look how cute. The little mouse, and he has a bow on his tail and green eyes. Super cute. Let's see, is this one signed? It looks like it. Uh, I think that says Jerry's. I think I think my eyes are not what they once were. And then another Roadrunner, but this one's a buckle. How cool. Belt buckle by Bell. B-E-L-L. -L, nickel silver. So alpaca, Roadrunner buckle. I got some Roadrunners going on. I like Roadrunners. What about you guys? And we have an old, I'd say this is some kind of um, celluloid. This is an old one, Japan. Mark Japan, that bird there. Really cute. And this is a little chickadee, chick. And it I've never seen them with the, um, they, it's got like this suede feeling, like it's got actual hair. Super cute. Little chicky baby. Chickadee. That's an older one. Grab a couple more. Oh, this one has that feeling as well. Oh, what do you call this one? I can't think right now. My mind's blank. I know what it is, but I can't say it. You guys know. 
Look how, is it stork or something like that? Really cute though. And then this one, little kitty cat. That looks like Givry glass, really cool. With the two different colored glasses blended together. Really nice little brooch right there, old one. Okay, almost done. Oh, this one's so cute. The glasses move. I, I think I've had this one before. I, I want to say this one's Avon. It is Avon. Isn't that precious? These little gla reading glasses. And then we have a vintage kitty. How pretty. And I don't know if that one is signed, but it is older. Really cool one. Okay. We have, what is this? A mouse. We have some mice. Another mouse. So we have cats and mice. This one has a bell. This one has AB rhinestones. The mouse. The cat is by Avon with the bell. And the AB rhinestone mouse. I don't know. Might need to get a loop on that one. But very pretty. And then we have another mousey. I hope my computer doesn't die on me. Articulated tail. We have a wooden brooch with birds. And the abalone beaks. Super cute. Made out of wood. And we have a couple of scatter pins here. Looks like a little mouse. And a frog. And I want to thank you guys before it hangs, ends on me. Thank you so much for coming. I really appreciate you guys. This one has gray fur. Little articulated tail. This mouse with green eyes. Super cute. I really love you guys. Remember how special and awesome you are. This looks like Jade. And this one is possibly Sterling. Looks like a dragon. Super cool. And the Jade one, let's see. Looks like it might be gold filled. Cool. And then we have a couple more rings. Looks like Fire Opal. We have a articulated fish, little old fish pendant. That one might be silver. We have another Roadrunner. This one's copper. And I think we're getting down to the bottom. That's about it. There's a couple little scatter pins. A little butterfly pendant. And that's about it. Little birdies and another little mouse. This one has cheese in his hand. And three birdies with yellow and blue enameling. Very pretty. I'm going to see you guys. I'll be coming live soon. Be looking for me. I love you guys. Bye-bye.